Sunday, there's a market in San Telmo, which is like the old historic district of Buenos Aires. And there we met a bunch of tango musicians, guitar players. Caminito que el tiempo se ha borrado y con la lluvia la cajita no ha caminado. <laughs> There was this one old man who played guitar and he was singing with this very, this very uh, unique voice, this older guy, very tan. Yeah, you, you see all the craftsmen in the streets, people who make their own scarves and make their own t-shirts and tools and stuff like that. It was really cool to go to San Telmo. Definitely something you have to see. The market in San Telmo kind of had this old feeling kind of felt like what a market would feel like a hundred years ago. Look at all this junk. <laughs> Nobody needs any of this stuff. It's all like decorative antique stuff. I mean, that's kind of cool, the steering wheel over there. Actually, I, I hate shopping. I hate, I hate having too much stuff. I've actually, like four years ago when I first started traveling, I sold off just about everything I owned, except for, you know, the music equipment. I feel like there's less burden when I own less things. And I ask this question, do I really need this or do I just want it? I always ask this question every day. The San Telmo Market is like the quintessential Sunday thing to do in Buenos Aires. I mean, there's nothing else going on in Buenos Aires because they're kind of a religious city, so everything's mostly closed. And that's also where you get to meet some interesting characters, you get to see some local music and local musicians, you get to eat some local food. If you're gonna to go to Buenos Aires and you're not gonna visit San Telmo, you're missing out. I love, I love these little cobblestone streets. It's got so much character. I mean, it's not, it's not every day where I get to walk into a cafe that's so iconic, like La Poesia, and I get to just play piano in front of everybody. It's great. I mean, I can't just carry a piano on my back, right? Oh, Paco! ¿Qué pasa, amigo? How many years has it been? Yeah, 20 years, right? Give me a hug, give me a hug. See you later, buddy. I, I ate empanadas like every day on that trip because the empanadas there are unlike anything else. Oh, the empanadas were so good in Argentina and so I, I ate empanadas almost every day. It's pretty good, right?